now let's take a look at Alaska's climate which is really a very big deal because most of Alaska is cold owing to its proximity in the North Pole. The lowest temperature ever recorded in Alaska was negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit in Prospect Creek, Interior Alaska on January 23rd, 1971, which was just one degree above the lowest temperature recorded in continental North America, recorded in the village of Snag, located in Yukon, Canada. The highest ever recorded temperature in Alaska is 100 degrees Fahrenheit in Fort Yukon on June 27th, 1915, which actually makes Alaska tied with Hawaii for the lowest high temperature of any state, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the extra tropical storm track runs along the Aleutian Island chain across the Alaska Peninsula and along the coastal area of the Gulf of Alaska, which exposes these parts of Alaska to a large majority of the storms crossing the North Pacific. The climate in Juneau in the Southeast Panhandle is a mid-latitude oceanic climate in the southern sections and a subarctic oceanic climate in the northern parts. Parts. Now, Juneau is the only region in Alaska in which the average daytime high temperature is above freezing during the winter months. It's only Juneau region, nowhere else, which is kind of incredible. Now, South Central Alaska, including Anchorage, has a mild climate compared to much of Alaska due to its proximity to the seacoast. The interior of Alaska has extreme temperatures of the highest and lowest recorded temperatures that I have mentioned earlier. Now, the northernmost Alaska has an Arctic climate with long cold winters and cool summers where it snows all year round. Now, the Aleutian Islands chain, consisting of more than 300 small volcanic islands, extends west from the southern tip of the Alaska Peninsula. With all these islands combined with the main peninsula, Alaska has 34,000 miles of coastline, longer than all of the other U.S. states combined. Now, approximately 65% of Alaska is owned and managed by the U.S. federal government as public lands, including a multitude of national forests, national parks, and national wildlife refuges. Now, this in turn pretty much means that all, a good number of Alaska, almost all of it, is pretty much federal land. Now, Alaska has more than 3 million lakes and has plenty of glaciers covered up. Bering Glacier being the largest glacier in North America, covering 2,008 square miles. Now, Denali, or Mount Denali, with a summit elevation of 20,310 feet, is the highest mountain peak in the entirety of North America. and it's located in interior Alaska. And hunting, fishing, and dog mushing are the common recreational events in Alaska. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.